Hey there guys, thanks for coming back and checking out the uh, Crafty Pew Pewer. I really appreciate it, that's me. I like to make things that are gum related and or just crafts in general. Uh, just in case you didn't know. So today guys, I really want to um, go over a different uh, part of my concealed carry um, and the reason that I like it so much. I did do a different video and I'll try and link that somewhere. I'm not really good at that yet. I'm still trying to figure out YouTube because I'm editing it all on my phone. Yep, you guessed it. <laughs> so, if you're at all impressed by what I've been doing with just my phone, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me how awesome it looks, or tell me how bad it looks, please. If you don't like something I do in my videos, if you don't like my backgrounds, even though how could you not like my awesome wreath, like hit a little button, turns on and off, isn't that great? Anyways. And my, uh, my wife's awesome advent calendar. Gotta love it. So anyways, um, <laughs> Merry Christmas to anyone who is watching and uh, celebrates that. Because I know I do. Um, anyways. <laughs> um, so guys, uh, part of my concealed carry is not just my gun. Uh, because, I mean, yes, I do carry my gun basically or literally everywhere I go. Uh, but I also carry a knife. Now in my CCW class I learned that you should always have a first choice, a first thing that comes out and your gun should not be the first because then you could I guess be held uh, liable or someone could say oh he just pulled his gun out or she just pulled her gun out and that was it. There was no warning, there was no I'm gonna see where this goes before I take out my gun and if you just take instinctively take your gun out and it's not like a life or death situation and you can't try and talk the person down first or something like that then it's could be really bad for you because even just showing your gun in public without it being a life or death situation is not a good thing uh, from what I've heard and learned um, don't do it so what I'm going to talk about today is my concealed carry knife. So this is my concealed carry knife. This is the Gerber Ghost Strike. Uh, it's a fixed blade. Um, it has a sheath um, and it's a very interesting sheath. I'll show that to you in just a second. But you can also um, get the, uh, uh, the ankle brace for it as well, which I do have. Uh, thank you mom and dad. This is the, probably one of the most useful birthday presents I've ever had because I use this literally every single day. Anyway, so a little bit of information on the Ghost Strike, and I'll try and put that like right here, but I'm still not that good at it still, so let me know, or I'll try. Anyway, so um, the a little bit about the sheath itself, because uh, this is the knife, it's pretty cool. Now you may see this stuff right here. That is something I did, uh, because this has a really awesome like rubbery material, I don't know if, uh, let's see here, there it is, you see that, how the texture on there? So the rubbery material is really nice because it's not too rubbery, but it's also like has a really nice little grip to it. But the problem is, the way I always wear it is I wear it on my the, my back, my low back, basically in the back of my pants. And every time I would walk by something or try to scoot by something, the back of it would catch. It would hit something or hit this, hit that, and it was, it was scraping the back, like the very back part of it, which is making that rubber stuff come off. Which isn't really a huge deal, except for where I wear it when I'm getting into my car. It like hits the the seat of the car. Even if I try and pull my my shirt down, it could cut my. It, it's it's not exact. It's not sharp like up here, but it's has like a very sharp like cut to it. So it's very abrupt. And, like in that, nah, it's not sharp, but it has like a sharp angle. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. So. It's sharp enough to where if you are scraping it on the seat material of your car enough times just with this part, it will rip it, especially if you're getting in and your whole body's doing this and you're kind of like trying to scoot in like, oh, I just heard a ripping sound. Was that my shirt? And oh, I ripped the chair. Ah, you know. So I put this, um, this Plasti Dip stuff on it. Uh, so we, I cleaned up all the stuff off there and I uh, all the, the, the stock rubber stuff. I need to trim this off, but I haven't gotten there yet. Um, and I really want to show you guys that I that, that is what this like clear coat stuff is. 
Um, it, it sealed really well, Plasti Dip. Um, I'll try and leave a link in the, in the description for Plasti Dip if you're interested in Plasti Dipping your your knife or your tools or anything. Because what I think, I'm pretty sure it's used mainly for like dipping your tools. Um, like if the handle or whatever is like not rubbery anymore, you can dip this in there and like literally wait an hour or two as long as it's not super thick dip it again dip it you can dip it as many times as you want and it just it just it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger so if I just sat there and dipped it let it dry dipped it let it dry dipped it let it dry I could have a really big gooey like squishy handle don't want that though because it's on my back so anyways I digress so anyways I really love the sheath so let me show you what it looks like so this is probably the weirdest camera angle I've had on myself uh, because it's basically my crotch. <laughs> so anyways, I have a shirt on, I promise. Uh, this is, of course, the Hellcat and my uh, Zyphos 2. Uh, can still carry um, in the waistband um, sheet, or sheath uh, holster. You guys, I did a video on that. I'll, I'll leave that link in, in somewhere. Chop it like right here or whatever. Um, I'm not good at that yet. But anyway, so let me talk about this really fast. It has the Ulti clip. And if you saw my other video, you know this. It clips right under my uh, under my pants, and it's really great because when I have this in there, I can do this. It doesn't go anywhere. I don't have to have pants with a belt on. I can literally wear this with my pajamas if I'm going outside and I want to have this with me, with my gym shorts, with anything. I, and my wife can wear it if she's if she wants to. Um, with whatever she's wearing, I can wear it. It doesn't really matter as long as you're. you're it, it, is somewhat tight on you if you have a drawstring it's even better because you can tighten that down put it on there but that gets me to a part a point with the with the ghost strike as well the Gerber ghost strike fixed blade because can you see it I don't think you can it's here so the cool thing about this is is you can change it to where it mounts this way it mounts up and down, like it, the, the knife it, itself would be up here, you have to pull it out like that, or it can go down, and you can have it on your side, wherever you have your belt at, you can change the uh, actual belt loops to match anywhere. You can have it go this way if you want. The um, the knife itself is completely am ambidextrous. It, it goes either way. So if you have it on the other side, it could be the, the curved parts for your finger on this side. That's perfectly fine. It, it will work both ways. And literally, I don't even have to look when I'm putting it in. I just slide it along the top of the sheath until it drops down. And that's it. Now, did you see that? When I put it back in, it slides. And when I, if I leave it up here and try and pull it up quick, it will slide as well. I don't really like that. So there's only a few ways I've noticed to, how to, to fix that, and that's to put it in between your belt loops, uh, which I've done, and it works. It's OK which I tried to do right here because this side as you can see is on the belt loop but this side the belt loop in the middle is where I was trying it wanted to be but like right in the middle this belt loop is a little bit far away and this loop is a little bit further away from there so it's kind of like a pick your side kind of thing but I was thinking you can buy the um you can buy these ulti clips directly from tier one concealed and you can, uh, I don't know if they have a size that you can pick, like if it's bigger or smaller or whatever, but you can mount it on anything. If you have a different holster, if you really like the Ulti Clip, you can put it on there. If you already have a tier one concealed holster as well, you can just put it on one of those. So that's why I really like these as well. It's, it's not just for this holster, it's for any holster you have, really, um, as long as you get the right size. But like I said, I don't know if you can order different sizes from tier one concealed specifically but I do know and I'll leave a link down in the link uh, down in the description below that you can order different sizes of the ulti clips which I'll just take this off and show you the ulti clips these ones I believe are the three inch okay like three three and a half inch something like that and this came I ordered this with my holster this came with the holster um, for extra like 13 bucks a piece but whatever so they're worth it uh, but I want these for my Gerber now because the reason or one of the big things I don't like about my Gerber sheath is yeah it's pretty cool you can mount it sideways you can make, um, do it up or down but 
you can't take it off very quickly. Okay? It's you have this, you can use it, boom boom, done. But my problem is, is I'm I don't want to come inside and take it off and because you have to like have to now you notice I keep my my belt buckle over here because of my um my gun. So <laughs> I have to literally do this, take this all the way off over here. I'm going to do it from this side because there's a loop right in the middle. Basically take the belt all the way up. So by the time I get this off, it's only in two more belt loops and the rest of the belt's off. So to take this all the way off, I literally have to take my belt 90% off. And, which is fine because this is an awesome, oh did you see that? <laughs> That's my uh, sticker I have in the back of my knife because no one can see it and I think it's funny. Anyways, can you tell what it is? Yeah, I'll let you figure it out. So anyways, that is the ghost strike. Give me a second, let me put my belt back on. So anyways guys, this is the ghost strike. <laughs> That's the sticker. This is the ghost strike right here. And um, yeah, so what I really like, like I was saying about this is the way that you can mount it. You can have these, um, these right here. You can mount them here, going up or down, up and down, or you can scoot it this way, up or down. And it even has these, little notches already in it so that if you want you can probably just not even put those on at all or have it there just for padding because it has like a little bit of a little bit of a difference right there to where it probably if you have like a vest or something you can probably have it like I'll switch around if I have it like mounted here or something so you could quickly pull it out I don't know that's a pretty cool idea I don't have any tactical gear like that because I'm not that cool but <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I was thinking I was going to put the ulti clip on here and have it just, they have a smaller one on Amazon that I think will work perfectly for this stuff to measure it, but I think it will work perfectly. If not, they have a medium and a, a like a three and a half, a two and a half, and then like I think it's a one and a half. I, I can't, don't quote me on it, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it all out, okay guys? Uh, but just undo the screws, boom, boom. Keep the nut, the nuts in the back, and then just bolt on the ulti clips, and you can put the ulti clips this way. I'm sure, this way. You can even probably do them sideways if you really want to. There's that sticker again. You can do them either way, so that no matter where you, you could probably even clip it on your shirt, on the inside of your shirt, on your pants, and when you get in somewhere, you can just turn around, clip clip, take them off, done. And if you're going out somewhere and you, you just undo ulti clips, boom boom, and you're done. So that's what I really want to do. I'm going to be working on that because homeboy don't have any money. So, uh, but guys, um, I did get a chance. Thank you to my friend. I'm not going to say his name, but he uh, is an awesome guy. Um, he, uh, he actually took me out shooting. I was so excited. I got to go shooting. I got to actually shoot my Hellcat, which sounds silly to say, but I just hadn't had the time or the ability or any of that to be able to go shooting. Um, for, oh, you know, the entire time that I've had this gun, up until, what, three days ago? So, just cleared it, we're good. I guess I could show you, couldn't I? Clear. Mm, there it is. Okay, and there you go. So, um, I actually got to shoot this. I was very excited. I got to shoot it. It was a lot of fun. Did not kick nearly as hard as I thought it would which I'm really excited about I thought I did pretty well with the um, with the uh, shooting of it and I actually was pretty pretty good grouping but we shared him and I shared the same target so you can't really tell which part was mine but um, I had some pretty good uh, pretty good groupings I was pretty happy with myself because it was the first time I shot it so yeah and even though it is a micro compact micro seriously it's as big as my hand. Okay, guys. And if, if this was the uh, standard clip, with uh, this is the standard clip, but without this little pinky uh, pinky thing on there, it would be like holding it without that. So literally, like without even having the mag in, it'd be like holding it like this. And I hate it. That's why I have that pinky thing on there, because I hate just trying to shoot a gun like this. I also got to shoot for the first time a 300 blackout. Now I've shot an AR-15. This was standard AR-15 before, and it was fun okay unfortunately I don't have one I really want one but I don't have one uh, so if anyone wants to give me one 
leave me a comment and we'll talk. <laughs> but anyways, um, I've shot an AR-15 and it does kick pretty hard. Uh, but I actually got to shoot my buddy's 300 Blackout the other day when we went shooting for this and it was beautiful. So uh, we went to a range, went to the uh, uh, Scottsdale Gun Club. I'll leave a link for that down below as well. And Uh, it was awesome okay and um, I like I said like to do crafts okay so I saw something online that I thought was really cool and it was basically an American flag okay all made out of wood and theirs was like huge it was ma massive probably like the size of a standard American flag but um, I'm probably gonna do mine you know probably about like three foot by I don't know two foot or whatever the dimensions are make them equal of course but uh, and I'll make a video of this later but um, I have uh, I wanted a bunch of bullet casings so I could actually use those for the stars um, and have the, so have the stars bullet casings and then have the stripes be um, just the stripes and I was gonna like burn the wood and all that stuff but again I need to get the money to get the torch and to get the, all that stuff but anyway so It'll be a little bit. <laughs> I apologize. If you're really hanging out, like really hoping for that video, let me know and I'll set up a Patreon account or something so you can help me out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, but um, either way, uh, I, I so I wanted to use the uh, uh, bullet casings for that, but I, so I, I picked up all the casings that we shot because we shot his 45. We actually shot his 22 Uzi for a little bit. It was pretty fun. Shot my nine millimeter, a lot of the nine millimeter. I was trying to get all the nine millimeter casings for stars. Ended up getting plenty of the nine millimeter, but ended up getting just enough of the 45, which are bigger than nine millimeter. In case you didn't know, um, so I think I'm gonna use the 45 for the stars because they're just a little bit bigger and they kind of more like, a, ooh, that's a that's a casing. That's kind of cool, you know. And we have some of the 300 blackout casings as well. And the guy just a few aisles over. Was shooting an AR-15, and he actually gave gave me like, just like say, hey, you can have those, and I just swept them over. But the, all of his 556 five, rounds, I was like really excited. There's only like six of them or 12 of them or something like that, but still. So if you guys have any other ideas for crafts, um, I'll put one like right here of an idea that I had to do with them. But if you have a better idea, please by all means leave a comment in the in uh, down below and uh, send me a picture or something and. Uh, I might do that craft too, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll put the picture up for that uh, right here uh, for what, I th what I'm thinking about doing for the um, with the other casings, not for the 45 because I'm gonna use that for the, the stars, but for everything else, I'm just gonna try and like make a table out of it. You'll see it's right here. Anyways, so guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this uh, video on the Ghost Strike Gerber Ghost Strike. This is a fun little knife, and I will be posting a video uh, um, later whenever I can get the ulti clips for this and show you how well I like it or don't like it. I don't know yet. And uh, yeah. Um, again, guys, I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I've talked about in this video. Uh, and I talked about a lot of things, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> but um, let me know leave, uh, uh, what you guys like the best, what you guys like the worst how you think I, sh I can better make my videos if there's anything that you thought I should have touched on instead of something else please let me know I will gladly indulge you and talk to you at least talk to you about it and um, yeah so anyways guys um, if anyone wants to go shooting please let me know I would love to go shooting with you <laughs> and um, yeah uh, please uh, like comment share hit the little bell icon thing all that stuff and uh, yeah, thank you again for watching the uh, Crafty Pure, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys.